the best way to express it is freedom, pure liberation. Water skiing, wakeboarding, mono skiing. I rock climb. I love riding bicycles. When I'm like in that zone, it's just a different adrenaline feeling. Like when you're when you're just tapped in, pushing the envelope. Everything it just around you just kind of is. It's gone. I've always been adventurous. I'm living life to the fullest. I'm Woody. I'm a T12 complete paraplegic, which means I have no sensation from the waist down. Before my accident, everything I did revolved around my athleticism and my body. In my 20s, I would I just kind of kind of set into a direction but with the uncertainty and the unknown, but just dove in. You know, like I had nothing to lose. Had no, like, didn't know where that next, after that gig was done, didn't know where it was coming to next. And just things just fell into place. It was just like, after doing that, I'd meet somebody, it'd land me here. The American dream. I'd go to awesome parties. I met my wife and I instantly, like, connected with her. And it was awesome. He's always someone that um, challenged me to do things that maybe was out of my comfort zone. And I always felt safe with him, so I would always do it. It, it was a perfect fit, it was a perfect match. And I was right where I wanted to be. And then this happened to me, you know, the, the, the accident. I was hanging out with my friends and uh, I just bought my new motorcycle. And, um, and it, was, it was an early evening, I was just popping over there, say a quick hello, have a burger. And um, I left like right around 9.45, 10 o'clock at night. I didn't see the person at all. I, uh, the only thing I remember is I saw the side mirror really close to me and I was trajected off my motorcycle and then I was knocked unconscious. As soon as I came to, I was disoriented, but I realized that something was really wrong. I couldn't feel from the waist down. My body was, it was ripped apart. And they told me that, you know, Woody had just been in a severe accident and that I had to come as fast as I could. My T12, thoracic 12 vertebra, was decimated, decimated. My T11 was a little compromised, but T12 decimated, fractured, all in my spine. I refused to believe what the doctors were telling me, that my husband was never going to walk again. And my... <laughs> it's so funny because I'm past it, but when I think about it, it's so... It's just so... Um... The, the, emotion, the emotion that comes up is so powerful because it was like, it was such a traumatic experience for, for me and for her. I was going through a lot of stuff coming to terms with the injury. The everything, it just kept piling on. Like, how do I get myself up out of bed into my chair without falling on the floor? You know, and that includes like getting this, this like this installation with this chairlift in our house, you know? It's like, how much worse can this get? I could see that, you know, his mind was going into dark places and stuff. And um, I would just tell them, it's like, you can go there, but you need to come back to the light, you know, and not stay in the dark too long. I was so unsure of this, if this was the life that I wanted to live out in this body, you know, because of the, un the like, truly not knowing what I could create with it. There was nothing left in him. There was no fight. It was just, you know, just broken. It was, it was just a spirit that was completely broken and lost. 
But in the end, it really was the imprint on the world that I wanted to leave behind. Like now, when things really get hard, you're gonna punk out. That is not who I am. I am not going out like that. My really close friend got me back in the water wakeboarding again. And that, that truly was my, that was, that was my therapy right there. Being out there, everything just dissolved. It was like I was, I was back doing the things that I love to do and my injury was not in the forefront anymore. Once I came into myself of just like, oh, this isn't gonna hold me back. I'm still gonna do all the things that I love to do with the person that I love. I said, when I get to a place, this is what I wanna do. A defining moment. I said, I want to help others that are going through this. I am so honored with what I do now, uh, working with newly injured spinal cord injuries and guiding them through the trials and tribulations that they go through because there's more. And I'm, I'm here to share what is out there and, and, and the possibilities that are out there the look on their face, like what they, their achievement is, it's overwhelming. Like words can't describe what that is. This circumstance can bring a beauty into your life that you never could have imagined of being, which is awesome. I mean, you know, it, it sucks being in a wheelchair, but, but if you yourself, once you get through this hurdle, it's like you can turn this around and make it bigger than yourself.